Hello friends, you're watching this video now because I've been recently inspired by an Australian man. First name of Dank, last name of Pods. Specifically, I was inspired by his video where he looks at a bunch of old crusty iPod accessories while talking in an Australian accent for some reason. Look, it's a tin of refried beans. And during this video, one item caught my eye in particular. It's this weird looking iPod case that was marketed as a DJ remixer. So one would assume that it would function like a turntable. But no, what it actually is, is like the worst low pass filter I've ever heard in my entire life. There's only one thing wrong with Dank Pods' video, and that's that he only used this device for its intended purpose. So today, we are going to be uh, making some magic happen. Before I open this, let's like take a moment to appreciate this box art. They don't really make stuff like this anymore. You can tell this thing's been through uh, some hard times. But um, other than that, really good condition box. You know, this would live uh, on display on my shelf if it wasn't just like absolute landfill material. Like no one wants these <laughs> except for me. I want them. It almost breaks my heart to remove this case. It's, it's like, a, it's a product of its time. Like look at how excited these people are. He's holding it out all enthusiastically. But I can't wait any longer. <sighs> 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 Give me your treasures. There she is. This weighs nothing. You know what saddens me a bit? Companies really just don't make their stuff out of like these like clear plastics anymore. I honestly think they look great. I, I <laughs> this thing looks stupid and like fun and ugh, I just love it. But uh, you're not here for unboxing. You are here to hear what this thing can do. Okay, I think it's ready to go. Uh... Let's plug it in and just see what it sounds like, yeah? It's just the crappiest little filter and I love it. All right, uh, I gotta go off screen to plug this thing into like my uh, audio interface, but give me a second here. All right, all right, let's see if it works. Whoa, okay, it works. <laughs> All right, welcome to my corner. I'm just gonna like put a bunch of these through that thing and just see how they sound. Um, let's start with the micro freak. Let's get a, let's get an, 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 an initial patch. Ooh. I kind of like how that sounds. Okay, I don't like that I have to keep pressing this button. I wish there was a feature that just had it always on. Ben did. I did it. I'm a fucking genius. Oh my god. What is that sound? That sounds kind of fucking awesome, doesn't it? This isn't my interface uh, peaking, by the way. This is the device making these sounds. It is freaking out. It can't handle that. Since these keys are velocity sensitive, it, it like the harder I play, the more it peaks. What should we do next? I, I say we do the I say we do this little guy.
What I set out to do today was to prove that you can use this little manky janky piece of crap for sound design, like proper sound design. Okay, I definitely wouldn't say proper sound design, but if you're in need of like a super cheap distortion pedal, this would do the trick. When you include the cost of shipping, I got mine for just $16. And when comparing this to the price of like a legitimate distortion pedal, sure you could get something higher quality for just a couple bucks more, but is distortion really about quality? I really, really like the way the cheap electronics of this thing absolutely mangle every signal that goes through it. It kind of feels like all your synthesizers are like having sex with each other. Okay, actually that sounds really fucking stupid. Why did I say that? The point I'm trying to make here is that I really really like the way it sounds. And I know that's super subjective because I just love old weird crap like this. Like this thing is just completely useless outside of, you know, making music. Because if you listen to music through this like they intended you to, it just garbles it and fucks it up. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm gonna fucking fart and pee and shit.